side by side with him. You're very late, Goodman Brown, said he. The clock of the Old South was striking as I came through Boston, and that is a full fifteen minutes agone. Faith kept me back a while, replied the young man with a tremor in his voice, caused by the sudden appearance of his companion, though not wholly unexpected. Okay, now this could have a double meaning. Do you remember how in the introduction to literature we said that um, if the literal meaning doesn't fit, then it has to be figurative? We know his wife's name is Faith. But if you read this in a different way, if you took this out of context, and I said to you, I'm late because faith kept me back a while, then what could faith mean in addition to just his wife's name? So I'm going to ask that question over here. If I can get the text tool to work. There we go. Is this his wife or something else? Because, you know, maybe it's more, maybe there's more to this than merely his wife's name. Hard to say. It was now deep dusk in the forest, and deepest in that part of it was where these two were journeying. As near as could be discerned, the second traveler was about 50 years old, apparently in the same rank of life as Goodman Brown, and bearing a considerable resemblance of him, though perhaps more in expression than features. Okay, that's a weird way to describe someone, right? So I'm going to make note of this because it's saying that it's more the way he looks, um, the expression on his face, than it is uh, his actual physical description. And I would say, what is his expression? So like, what is it about his face that makes him look like young Goodman Brown. Still, they might have been taken for father and son. And yet, though the elder person was as simply clad as the younger, and a simple in manner too, he had an indescribable air of one who knew the world, and one who would not have felt abashed at the governor's dinner table or in King William's court, were it possible that his affairs should call him thither. But the only thing about him that could be fixed upon as remarkable was his staff, which bore the likeness of a great black snake, so curiously wrought that it might have almost seemed to twist and wriggle itself like a living serpent. This, of course, must have been an ocular deception, assisted by the uncertain light. Okay, people, can he be any more heavy-handed about this? You meet somebody in the forest, and they have this, and he looks like a Puritan, except that he has a staff that looks like a snake. This is a contrast and contradiction. So we would ask ourselves the question, why does this guy have a staff that looks like a snake? And if we know anything about, and if we know anything about, uh, if I could spell serpent, if we know anything about the Puritans at all or about um, older Christianity at all, we would know that that's something that they wouldn't be carrying around. Why a snake? Actually, it's a snake, isn't it? Let's make it say snake. Okay. All right, moving on. Come, Goodman Brown, cried his fellow traveler. This is a dull place for the beginning of a journey. Take my staff, if you are so soon weary. Friend, said the other, exchanging a slow pace for a full stop. Having kept covenant by meeting thee here, is thy purpose now to it is my purpose now to return whence from I came. I have scruples touching the matter thou wouldst of. Sayest thou so, replied he of the serpent. That's a weird way to describe somebody. Oh wait, it's gonna try to do the text tool. So why describe him as he of the serpent? So I'm going to ask that question again. Why? And this might be an again and again, right? Because why repeat the serpent slash snake staff? You know, not only does it repeat here, but he offers him the staff right here. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that too. So is the staff going to be significant? Does the staff have a symbolic meaning? 
So that's an again and again. Too far, too far, exclaimed the good man unconsciously. Oh, wait, let me keep going up here. Let us walk on, nevertheless, reasoning as we go. And if I convince thee not, thou shalt return back. We are but a little way into the forest yet. Too far, too far, exclaimed the good man, unconsciously resuming his walk. My father never went to the woods on such an errand, nor his father before him. We have been a race of honest men and good Christians since the days of the martyrs. And shall I be the first in the name of Brown that ever took this path and kept such company, thou wouldst say, observed the elder person, interpreting his pause. Well said, Goodman Brown. I have been well acquainted with your family, as as with ever a one among the Puritans. And that's no trifle to say what? So young Goodman Brown is like, I'm the first one to go in the forest. And the elder person says that he knows this guy's family. Well, let's see what he says about the guy's family. I helped your grandfather, the constable, when he lashed the Quaker woman so smartly through the streets of Salem. And it was I that brought your father a pitch pine night knot, kindled at my own hearth to set fire to an Indian village in King Philip's war. They were my good friends both. And many a pleasant walk of we here along this path, and returned merrily after midnight. I would fain be friends with you for their sake. Okay, those are not things that you would be like. If you did these things, these would be bad things, right? So, are Puritans involved with bad things? Well, we'd have to look up more history to know that for sure. But um, these are contrasts to good behavior. What manner of man is this? So we then I'm talking about the guy he meets in the woods. Like, what's up with this? That's a contrast and a contradiction. It contrasts to what I expect. If it be as thou sayest, replied Goodman Brown, I marvel they never spoke of these matters. I marvel not, seeing that the least rumor of the sort would have driven them from New England. Okay, so Brown lets us know that if that this is not something that he would be proud of, that this idea, this the stuff that this guy asks him to do, is it the stuff that he asks them to do that makes it that they'd be driven from New England, or the fact that they walked in the woods with this man? So who is this man? We are a people of prayer and good works to boot and abide no wickedness. Wicked or not, the travel with the twisted staff. Okay, they're mentioning the staff again. So this is an again and again. And when we see things that happen again and again, we ask, why do these things keep happening? And why does he keep including them? We know this is an allegorical story. So... Let me finish typing this. Why does the staff keep bringing, keep being described? So we know this is an allegory. We know that everything in here has got a reason and a symbol. So there's a purpose for the pink ribbons being described again and again, and there's a purpose for the staff being described again and again. What riddle can we make from these two things to, in order to describe them? Um, a lot of times allegories will boil people down into really simplistic black and white kinds of mannerisms or descriptions in order to bring the allegory to light to make it really clear who it is that they're talking about and what that person's purpose is in the story. Um, I have a, a very general acquaintance here in New England. The deacons of many a church have drunk the communion wine with me. The selectmen of Drivers Town make of Divers Town make me their chairman, and the majority of the great and general court are firm supporters of my interests. The governor and I too, but those are state secrets. Okay, so let me pick the color. It should be that's still black. Okay, cool. So he's telling the guy that all of these people in town are in line with him. Okay, which would be a good thing if he was a good man, but some of the things that he describes himself as are not positive things. So what is this traveler with the twisted staff trying to say? Is he saying that what he's asking young Goodman Brown to do is good and everybody else is doing it too? Or is he saying that everyone in town is evil? We don't know. 
I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and then I will keep reading on the next page.